Hey there, my name is Angela. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to come at you with some color grading tips that you can use in Premiere Pro. Before I get started and jump onto my computer, I would like to mention that whenever I shoot any kind of video, I shoot it in a neutral setting. In this video right here, I think it's in that corner, it might be in that corner, I don't know. I talk about the camera settings that I use on my Canon M50 when shooting video. I use a certain neutral setting and you can see exactly what it is I use in that video. If you like to use CineStyle, that's cool too, but using a neutral setting is very important when it comes to color grading because it kind of gives you the ability to manipulate stuff more because if you're using the automatic normal setting that your camera is usually set to by default, then when color grading, it is hard to do color grading without things becoming saturated or just making the colors look funky. So I just wanted to mention that very quickly. Now let's jump onto the computer. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro. I have a couple of videos here that I took yesterday during sunrise. They're just kind of random, but I'm going to use them for a future video. But today we'll be color grading them. First things first, the biggest tip that I have for you guys that will make your editing process so much quicker is to use adjustment layers. So if you go down here to new item and click it, you'll see adjustment layer right there. When you do that, you'll see this box pop up with the dimensions of your video automatically populated. Just press OK and then click and drag it on top of your videos. And you can extend this however far you want. But what it does is whatever adjustments you make to this layer get thrown onto whatever layers are below it. So you can still edit each video individually on top of whatever edits you make to the adjustment layer. But this is cool for color grading because using an adjustment layer allows you to have a consistent feel throughout your video. Now that we have that adjustment layer on, I'm going to start actually editing. I'm gonna go to the Lumetri color panel on the side right here and start with the basic correction. Usually with scenery b-roll like this, I like to make it pop a little bit more by increasing the contrast. So I'll increase the whites and decrease the blacks to do that. Maybe not that much. I think like right there looks pretty good to me. It doesn't look as good on this video as it does on this video, in my opinion. However, we will cross that bridge when we get to it. So hold tight for that. And now that I've done that basic correction, I'm going to actually play with the temperature as well. I really want a more warm feel for this video shot in particular because it's a sunrise. So I'm gonna bump up the warmth a little bit and I think that looks pretty freaking good. Just so you can have an idea, this is what it looks like right now. And that is what it looked like beforehand. So I think we're on a pretty good track. Now I'm going to move on down to the creative panel. With the creative panel, I mainly like to mess with the vibrance, the saturation, and the shadow and highlight tint. So I'm going to mess with the vibrance first and just kind of play around with it and maybe bump it up a little bit. Nothing crazy. And then same with the saturation, just a tad, just to make that sunrise pop. And now that that is done, I'm gonna play around with the highlight tint and the shadow tint. I'm gonna mess around with the highlights using this frame as a reference. Usually I like to bring my highlights up to more yellow, but it also depends on what the video is. And frankly, I don't really care for what it looks like with a more yellowish tint. So, ooh, I'm gonna do maybe a little bit more of a reddish orange. Yeah, I like how that looks so far. Again, I'm not a huge fan of what it looks like here just yet, but this one looking pretty snazzy. Boom. With the shadows now, I'm gonna mess around with them. And usually I like to make my shadows more blue. And hey, I kind of think that works for this video. Eh, actually, hold on. 
It's a lot of playing around and just going with what feels right. I think the blue kind of cools it down too much. So wow, I'm actually going to go with a more yellowish shadow, but I'm going to keep it at that. And what I'm going to do, let's look at before and after. I think that looks pretty amazing. Something else I'm going to do, the horizon is like slightly crooked. If I just click right here, it's going to click the adjustment layer. So I'm going to lock it into place and then click again. So I actually select the video clip that I'm trying to edit or trying to rotate. And what I'm going to do is slightly move it like that because the horizon is now straight and looks much better. And so that there are no black corners, I'm just going to expand it out a tad. And there it goes. I'm going to show you very quick what it looks like without that creative adjustment. You can see that now it's a lot more vibrant and kind of dreamy. And this is it without the basic. So that's with the basic correction and then add in the creative and it really brings it to life. And now I'm going to jump on down to the curves. And what I like to do with the curves is kind of make an S with it. That's kind of my default going to is bringing one part down and one part up. So I brought the highlights up and then the shadows down, kind of making it a little bit more contrasty. Let's see what it looks like without it. This is the clip with the curves adjustment and this is it without the curves adjustment. I think as it is, I really love it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I also really like the colors that I establish in the creative tab. So I don't think I'm going to mess around with the color wheels or the HSL secondary. And this right here, I would be fully satisfied with moving on with. And just to give you a little bit of a breakdown for color grading scenery footage like this, I start with the basic correction, mess around with the whites and the blacks for contrast and increase or decrease the temperature depending on the mood I'm going for. For this particular video, I wanted a more sunny and warm mood, so I moved up that temperature. But if I was going for something more dark or ominous, I might, boom, move it down a little bit to make it more moody, but I like sunny and bright, so I'm going to bring them up. And then I go on to the creative panel, and in the creative panel, I mess with the vibrance, the saturation, the shadow tint, and the highlight tint, depending on what feel I'm going for. Again, I'm going for something more magical and warm, so I boost up that vibrance and saturation and then mess around with the shadow tint and highlight tint to bring in more warm colors. And after that, I mess with the curve. Usually, I always bring the highlight side up and the shadow side down, kind of for the same reason that I bring the whites up and the blacks down to increase contrast in the video. And that is it. That is all I did to edit this video right here. Now let's go on to this clip. So this clip, I like it. I don't like the car in the back. So let me just, boop. <laughs> so I like the color of it, except for one thing. So what I'm going to do is click the clip itself and then I'm going to Boom, increase the shadows because it was getting a little, little too dark there. Let's see. And let me see what that looks like. I kind of like how that is right there. I might increase, yeah, I'm gonna increase the blacks a little bit. Cause I don't like how it looks so much right here. Like there is just absence of pixels. So I'm gonna increase the blacks and boom. Now I really like how this looks and also how this one looks. So what I'm going to do now, this doesn't really have to do with color grading per se, but it's something that I do to make a video feel more cinematic and that is to use an effect and it is the crop effect. So I'm going to drag that onto my adjustment layer and with that crop effect, I'm going to go to the effect controls 
and I'm gonna crop it by 10% on the top and 10% on the bottom to give it a more kind of widescreen look and I think it just really makes a video when you crop the top and the bottom for your scenic b-roll I don't know something about it just looks better but now my head is chopped off so I'm going to select this clip and just drag it down so that it's like right there and with that little adjustment right there now there's some negative space above my head which looks way better than my head being chopped off so i'm going to end this color grading edit right here and i'm just gonna add some audio in and some sound effects and then show you guys the finished product and see what you think That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Until next time, bye.